Yeah, but he, I'm not gonna lie, he had real estate right here. Oh, so I down. I hear it. Estate. I was, yeah, I was low key shook. I'm not gonna lie. I hear it, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. I, hear it. I didn't, I, I did not it. want to get involved with him on the basketball court. <laughs> I didn't want it. <laughs> yeah, remember, we're recording, right? I'm recording, yeah. We're recording, so I have all of this. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think we can release that one right there. <laughs> you can't release that one right there, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to release that from Yeah, you can't release that one right there. Ready for this? Yes. As we do, we're in here. It's a comparison time. It's a good one. Let's do this. It's a good one. Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. And in today's video, we've already read the title. Yeah. We are comparing the Nike KD13. Got the wrong shoe, bro. I'm, I'm, I, we spoke about this already. I got the KDs and you got the, the carries. Shoe. I don't have the wrong shoe. So it's just the car So what you should have said it's the carry sixes and then me coming versus the KD thirteens, like we planned. No, I have the messages. You know I have the KD thirteens. You're just upset because I shot front it. Timmy, don't do this. <laughs> don't do this, bro. <laughs> 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 You're oh! joking! Hold up, hold up. Right, run it back, run it back, run it back. Oh, move, move, move. Run it back. All right, I'm getting sick of this, bro. Yes. Whatever I pick out this hat, I'm holding. Yeah. Yes or no? Well, who got? I'm going first. No, right, you no, go I'm first. Go, first. you go first. Go on, I'll let you go first. Yeah? Whatever I pick. <laughs> Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back again with another comparison video. You've already read the title, so today we're comparing the Nike KD13 versus the Nike Carry 6. Why do you have to say it so loud? Let's get it. Carry Irving and KD are now teammates together at the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. And that franchise's future is bright. It's scary now. Yeah. It's real scary. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting things off as per usual with arguably the most important, it's the aesthetics. Yeah. Getting straight into it, it's gonna be a KD thing. Yeah, it has to be. These are close to foot, they're sleek, they're sexy, yeah. they're such a nice evolution from the 12. Yeah. I love the look of the 12. Yeah. And these 13s, I actually love them. They've been amazing colorways thus far. I'm messing with them. Yeah. What are you saying? Simple but clean. Your answer. Give them the point. There's your answer. Next up, we have the traction. Now we have the all-seeing eye traction pattern here in the carries versus the circles and ovals traction pattern over at the KDs. Yeah. And this low key is a tough one. It is tough. But the point has to go to the carries, mainly because we have more coverage. Yes, true. And it's just more durable. Yeah. Yeah, that's all it is. That will come more in play a little bit later. Yeah. But yeah, it's an easy traction pattern. Yeah, it's tough, it's tough. It, the KDs do a better job when it comes to dust collection. True. But point has to go over here. Say no more. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Next up, the cushioning in the KD13. Full length Nike Zoom in the strobe board. I'm not done yet, bro. Stop it. Stop talking. Stop. I'm not done. I'm not finished my cushioning yet. You'll get your turn. Right. With the four foot zoom bag. Extra. Double stacked. Okay. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, zoom cushioning setup thus far in a shoe. All right. I'm going to leave it there. You can go. Next up, we have the materials. Now, over here in the carry sixes, we have a textile mesh in the forefoot yep. and synthetics in the heel. Right. Now, in some colorways, just like this one, we have synthetics, basic synthetics, but in other colorways, we have this lovely, sexy, buttery leather. I'm not mad at okay? that. Okay? And obviously, some uh, overlays in your highway areas. That's right. And the KD, Timmy Hitton. We have a soft textile upper pretty much throughout. Yeah. 
it's nice. It's very nice. It's very soft, it's very malleable, and it's really nice to touch, yeah. even on the foot as well. Yeah. I'm messing with them strong. It's pretty much the only material on here. Now, there are some other materials on here, like this bonding around the kind of the edge of the shoe, yeah. which is more just like another material, which I'm pretty sure just holds the shoe together. Yeah. And then it feels as if this is a synthetic level, which is the wings at the back of the legs. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. All of them are soft, all of them do their trick. The point has to go to the KD. Yeah, it has to go to the KDs. Out the box. One of the greatest experiences ever. His words are mine. Next up, talking about the weight. Now the KD13 comes in at 465 in a UK 12. Whereas the Kyrie's coming at a little heavy 525 grams. Which is kind of mad. In the same size. In the same size. When you have a lot less zoom. A lot less. Uh, probably the strap adds a lot to them to no, the weight the as well. Aren't helping anyone. And the heel as well. Yeah. Ah, the Next up, we have the fit. Now, this is a close one. Yes. But the point has to go to the KDs once again. The carries do offer a good fitting experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the only reason why they don't take a slice of cake this time is it's that strap, bro. It just doesn't bang. It's whatever. It yeah, it doesn't whatever. bang. You have to. You, you have to readjust it, what, you know, mid-game every 20, 30 minutes. It's just it's not nice. No, not fun. It's not fun at all. Fun. What I will say, it is true to size. Yes. I love the true to size shoe. So is the KD13. They do fit a little narrow though. Yeah. That's come to be expected. We're talking KD. We're talking yeah. Slender Man, Slim Reaper. He's slim, he's narrow, so so are his shoes. But the fit is fantastic because the break-in time is low. They feel great out of the box if you're already about it. Yeah, it has to go to here. It has to. Next up, talking about the support. Now this one has to go to the KD13. It doesn't have to go. It's a see, very, very that, close one. It almost went to the Kyrie 6. You see, yeah. I, I kind of went like that, because it normally does. It normally does. The Kyrie 6 is a great support issue. It is, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. However, it may be overdoing it a little bit. It's teeter-tottering on that restrictive type of vibe. Yeah, I hear yeah? what you're saying. So the strap combined with the heavy materials and the, the synthetics, that comes away from the KD. You get the soft material with this really nice lace wing, which is great for that kind of ankle coverage back here. The whole lacing system is fantastic. And then the materials come together and are really, really close to foot. That narrow fit comes in, comes in like an absolute tree because yeah. it holds the foot really, really well. It has yeah. to be KD13. Yeah. I messed with the lateral support on them too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tricky one, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's, it's close. KD13 it is though. Moving on to which shoe is better for outdoor play. This again is a tough one, but the point has to go to the carries. Mm. It has to, purely because of its durability. Big word. Yeah. Big word. The outsole for sure is more durable than the KDs. Yeah. And the materials are a lot sturdier as well. Right. They should hold up a lot longer outdoors. I yeah, I mean the only argument for the KDs is is the cushioning. True. So you know it, one, it, it has a lot more impact protection. A lot more. But overall, it's a carry 16. Get them flow. Get them flow. T tell them. Is it price? It's the price. Is it price? Talk to, yeah. them. Talk to them. How should these shoes be priced? What's the theory, bro? <sighs> price slash value. Yeah, this is a tough one. That's on cool. one hand, we have the KDs priced at 130 pounds here in the UK. On the other hand, we have the Kyrie's priced at 115 Great British Sterling. The way I came to this conclusion, bro, first and foremost, the point goes to the Kyrie sixes. Yeah. Now, even though we can all see from this comparison that the KD, sorry, is a better shoe for performance. Yes. The reason why the point goes here is I ask myself, yes. what should the prices of these shoes really be? Talk to them. Because you know some of these companies be, be, be overpricing these crepes. Yeah. And I said, okay, cool. 115, this should, this should be... 100 pound shoe. For what you're getting? For what you're getting, 100 pound. Okay. Okay, so that's 15 pounds right there. We love that. Yeah. This shoe's priced at 130, when really and truly it should be 110. 110? It should be 110, bro. Slow down. Yeah, the, 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 the materials aren't anything crazy. True. 
okay, fair enough that the zoom, the zoom does go hard. It does. But apart from that, it's a very basic shoe, apart from the cushioning. No, I hear it. I do hear it. Do you know what I mean? So a basic shoe with crazy, crazy cushioning, in my opinion, should be 110. Yep. So this shoe loses 20 pounds, whereas this shoe loses 15 pounds, which is why I said the point goes to the carry sixes. More matter than that. More matter than that at all. And they last longer. There's so if you're an outdoor hooper, yeah, yeah. If we're talking value, then yeah. If we're talking value. So all right, guys, look at the scores. The KD13 comes out on top at six. It's tough. It's kind of tough. That's a tough. Yeah. I mean, we did think this was going to happen. This is a bad boy shoe. Let's be honest. Yeah. This is its 13th signature shoe, and that's on yeah. six. This has better be where it is at this point. Yeah. Anything less is no good. Yeah. It's not good enough. It's one of them ones, yeah, you put both these shoes on and you feel like Nike went all out with the KDs. Yes. But they held back a little with the carries. That's never a nice thing. That's how you feel. That's how I feel. Yep, yep. However, by no means is this a bad shoe. Never the case. Yeah, it's again down to preference. If you are a, a, a guard or you, you, know, you're, you're, you have guard-like skills yep. and you want a shoe that, that moves with you right. but protects you at the same time, all angles. this is for you. Facts. Overall though, them KDs. If you do it all, it's up to you. That is everything from us. If you want either of these shoes, click the link in the description box below to the Pro Direct Basketball website. Colors upon colors. Upon colors. Check it out. Live life. So all right guys, there you have it. This is the Nike KD13. This is the Nike Carry 6. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.